What's up guys, welcome back. We're finally in the shop this week. Today we're gonna talk about Batwing fairings, zero lights, and giveaways. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll get the light installed. All right, super easy install, really cool white running light, amber sequential turn signals. This is hazard so that you can see it. And yeah, I mean, just like that, just a little shaky shake and bam, it's installed. I'm just kidding. Let me introduce myself. For those of you that don't know me, my name is John Max. I'm a highly trained unprofessional right here at Chattahoochee Chat Harley Davidson. And on this channel, I bring you guys to work with me. So, if you want to learn more about Harley Davidson, you should hit the subscribe button right now. But you probably want to know what's in the box. It's available in chrome and black. Fits Batwing fairing models, you know, street glides, ultra classics or limiteds, and trikes. They do have a road glide model, it's just a different part number. I'll link them all down below. Even the Rogue Loud one, in case that's what you got. In the box, we have full color instructions. Two separate Y harnesses to make the actual lighted portion of the trim work. Six zip ties. Of course, we have the trim itself with leads coming off of it for the lighted portion. And we also have three different screws that are different length than stock that we're gonna talk about a little bit more during install. But before we get to the screws, cover up this front fender. For me, that's an actual fender paint protector. Uh, for you, it might be a moving blanket, a towel, something so that no screw or your tools or this whole fairing can't fall on your fender and fall down. I'm gonna remove these top screws completely and toss them because I have new screws that are gonna go right here. The new screws are actually just a touch longer than the old screws. So make up for the fact that the windshield trim is adds thickness to the fairing. I'm just gonna loosen these like middle fairing screws, I'll call them. And with the top screws removed, I can just take the windshield out. I'm gonna set mine up here on a shelf out of the way. I see people working in the parking lot a lot up here and they'll just set stuff down where they could potentially step on it or damage something or always make sure you get stuff out of your way. I'm gonna totally remove the bottom screws since the middle ones are still there and just loose at this point. I do it that way just because it is easier to kind of hold the fairing and reach the middle screws than it is to hold the fairing and loosen the lower screws. On this model, I have two bulb connectors. And with both of those disconnected, I can set my fairing down. Also somewhere safe where I'm not gonna kick it or step on it. That Y harness is gonna connect in right here at the turn signal or passing lamp slash turn signal, depending on which model you're working on. Just disconnect that guy. With the main harness unplugged, I can plug in the Y harness, slip the whole thing back through. Now I still have a connector easily accessible, just like stock, if I ever need to take this turn signal back off. As far as the other end of that wire harness, you just take the part you unplugged from the turn signal and plug it into the Y harness right here. And if you don't hold a camera, then you can use two hands and it's easier. Now with one side done, you do have to do the other side. I'm not gonna show that off because then my video would be even longer and you might already not be watching this, who knows? I got a pro <laughs> tip for you. Can I actually go ahead and mount this loosely? And I'll have a good idea of how to route the harness. I don't really want to zip tie these anywhere because then my fairing would be zip tied to the bike if I were to want to remove that outer fairing again. I only want to put zip ties on this part that's going to stay with the bike. I want to put zip ties on this part that's gonna stay with the bike. Throw an included zip tie right here on the harness. I try not to zip tie the any of these wires to like a metal part of the fairing, the braces or anything, just cause over time it could wear through the insulation on the wire. I try to keep it with other pieces of harness. And since I've already got it sitting here, I might as well go ahead and make sure it actually works. Mm -hmm. 
Now, before I start installing all the screws, I did want to point out that there's actually four different lengths of the screws. The outer fairing or the outer windshield screws are really short. The center windshield screw is long and it has threads all the way to the head of the bolt. It is an extremely close length to the lower fairing screws, but they have a little end of thread there. And then the middle screws are the longest. Now it's gonna sit on the fairing just like this. It has a little lip up top where it'll kind of set down on the fairing. And the wire ends are gonna fold inside the fairing so that they don't get pinched. Set this down so it's easy to reach. making sure my wires are not getting pinched by the fairing. I'll slide the center windshield screw in first just to support the whole fairing and the light bar and everything. I'll put the metal screws in and the two lower ones just so I can get that windshield attached without the fairing falling on the ground. When you slide that windshield in, you can pinch that wire. So before I tighten everything down, I'm gonna make sure that I got plenty of space right there and nothing's getting destroyed. And now we're right back to where we started. Let's do a quick review. I was actually gonna do this outside, but it started raining since I was to about the sales floor. I think the sales guy was probably mad if I go get a bunch of dirty water spots on it. But overall, the windshield trim is different than a, the other brands in that it has this little lip at the top of the windshield that really kind of makes it kind of flow into the windshield, which is nice. I always like the sequential turn signals, the, the part that makes it do the thing. It probably draws more attention, I would expect. It's a pretty sleek way to add extra lights. I think it would look really good on a vivid black bike because then it would really blend in with the front fairing. But I didn't have any on the sales floor. I don't know if you guys have heard, but 2020 models are coming soon. So yeah, I don't think we'll be getting any more of those this year. But Billiard Blue looks pretty sharp. It already has all the black trim because it's special. So it just seemed right to put a black windshield lighted trim piece on. Say that 10 times fast. Overall though, it's the same high quality that you would expect from Sierra 3D, super low key way to add a little extra safety to your ride. I mentioned a giveaway at the beginning of the video. Now it's the same as Sierra and I've always done, except you know what? Halogen light is getting really hot. <laughs> so Facebook, Instagram, head over to Sierra's page. They got a picture of me on there. Follow them, like their page. Tag a friend in the comments and you'll be entered to win. The winner will be announced on that day, uh, a week from this video going live. And if you don't have social media, uh, Ciro, not even me, Ciro, awesome company, I'm telling you. They were worried that some of you guys might not have social media and they'd like to open it up to people that don't have it. So, down in the description, right below all of the parts listings and all that stuff, there is an email you can actually submit, you know, right in there. John Maxwell's my favorite YouTuber. Send him that email, I'm just kidding. Put in there that you wanna be entered into the contest for the windshield trim and you'll be entered. And yeah, same deal, you'll be notified if you won on the day. Anyway guys, if you like this video make sure to give it a big dirty thumbs up if you want to see more content like this make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't quite got your fix there's a video right here and here and i'll catch you guys in the next one i mentioned a giveaway at the end of, at the b <laughs>